Welcome! This video was recorded with Gustavo from Rocky Marciano Brazil. Go check out his channel. Also make sure to visit my second boxing channel, Legends of Boxing in Color, where you can watch remastered boxing classics in color. And let's get on with the video. Try to use these one or two tricks you just learned to defend yourself. Let's see what happens. And then uh, he never lost. I believe most of his fights, his 49 fights, are not uh, recorded. Those uh, we can find uh, show that Marciano had opponents uh, that had a beautiful stance that could move and that could find the distance, that could uh, punch, always hit him. And he would punch much more. And So he would beat these better schooled fighters, even though the better school just by punching, punching more and, and harder, I guess. So, and if you, if you look at like, if said the, the 49 uh, fights and the earliest uh, film we have of Rocky, I guess, is the Kama and Vingo uh, fight. We have like yeah. clips of it. And yeah, I've- Very short one. Yeah, yeah, very I've, short. I've, recently um ask you if it was if you can confirm if, if it's real footage um like you can see like five seconds yeah, yeah. you can see him punching and then you can see carmen vingo when he's uh, collapsed into the canvas but yeah. yeah you can see the full fight yeah there is a coincidence not coincidence i don't believe in such things but Carmine went to he went to a coma in December '49, and he woke up in January '50. During this time, Rocky didn't fight anymore. He went to the church. He prayed for Carmine's recovery. And as he woke up, uh, Rocky went to the hospital and said, "Carmine, I I never fought again, and I never will." So Carmine said, "I I know I had a chance." So now you go there and be the champion. I, I'm sh pretty sure I was going to be. Sure. Don't quit. Don't quit. It gives a lot of responsibility to, to Marciano now. And the healing. And the inside healing, uh, some kind of forgiveness. The guy said, no way. You are the guy. You are the next big thing. As Carmine fell down, he hit uh, with the back of his head very strong way. And well, it happens. By the time he was in the hospital, lots of boxers came in, uh, hurt, uh, wounded, many died, and it was normal those days. People dying for practicing sport. Uh, I never saw Mayweather blood bleeding. Times were different, uh, but you can take your kid and watch a fight, uh, or on TV or, or online. Uh, he's not going to see a nose split in two yeah that's true it's it's more more sanitized kind in a kind of way i think yeah. it's because i think it's because of the gloves i think that yep. they had built now very much different than in the times you, you cut less i think july 12 1951 madison square garden new york Rex Lane from Lewiston, Utah, meets Rocky Marciano of Brockton, Massachusetts, in a scheduled 10-round bout to select a contender for the heavyweight crown held by Ezard Charles. Like, he finds this new purpose now, and he tries to, like, really do this boxing and become a champion. One of the next battles or fights we have of him is with um, Rex Lane. I think in the early, early going, he gets outboxed again, and then he yeah, yeah. continuously manages to like he then times his and places himself right to connect with the right hand like he would always and have this overhand and in the end he like connected right on the spot and that's the show pure heart lane hit him bad he could take it much more hard than technique and and um i've seen uh, like rex lane He's not like like some bad journeyman or something here. He has, I think he has even a win over uh, Esa Charles and Walker. I've yeah. seen. And um, 
one of the fights I, ha- I haven't seen very much of him but one I've seen with him is is against uh, Bob Satterfield where he takes a lot of punishment is, is yeah. down and whatever and then even comes back and, and stops uh, Satterfield so he could take a lot of punishment but against Rocky it was the overhand and I think he, he connected in like the second round and he cut him and the second time he uh, Rocky connected properly he was he collapsed in, into himself uh, Rex Lane yeah uh, he just had the chance to recover in because of conditioning because of heart and because of a chin that must have been made of steel I don't know but he kept on winning because he was good yeah not a good boxer he was good in winning and he fought joe lewis okay he was not young but he fought joe lewis and he cried after and said joe excuse me for being me he fought kid that uh he was one old one or two years older than him harry matthews most skilled fighter he taken marciano like a punching bag but marciano marciano's hand found his face uh twice his left hand the guy collapsed like a sack of potatoes froze his yeah. double left twice. hook when he oh, was backing oh. up as poo and he was losing and before that completely uh... that was a, a pro that was a, a was the last fight before the title fight you see in Walker a uh, fight in the yeah. first the fight for the title uh in the first round he gets knocked down uh in the corner people cry they yell they shout stay down stay down till the count of 10 recompose yourself he didn't listen he stood up yeah, he went straight back right out away Tactically, is not the best thing to do in the heavyweight uh, title fight. I'd say, yeah. You should take up time and. Take, it's, it's, uh, I think it's it never often can. is in the in the Marciano fights. Like, um, I was thinking, like, he he often gets like hurt in the first round, and I feel like maybe it's not not even just because technique. Maybe it's you know, also kind of nervous. I think sometimes he comes out the first round. And he nearly, in all of the fights we have footage from, he always loses the first round. Nearly all of the fights. He gets knocked down against Walker. And lost many rounds. Yeah. But in the uh, end, it didn't matter. <laughs> it's just something else. I don't know if you have this information. Someone seemed to, when Walker went to in the 60 round he went to the corner and he did like this he opened his arms took a deep breath and someone rubbed some something some kind of poison in his gloves in walcott's gloves and then as he tagged uh marciano's eyes they started burning burning and he was blind he fought he came to the corner he he got beaten up like well like a lot and then he went to the corner and started shouting my eyes are burning help me and then they put some water and when you put some water before it gets better it gets a, a bit worse the parts of of your face that are uh, wet so you, your eyes are going to burn the name is cs but the it's famous as tear gas uh, this substance uh, i don't know if this was the substance Mm-hmm. When mix it with uh, humidity, uh, this will burn more and more. All while uh, this time, uh, I give him the credits. He hired a guy for fifty dollars to be the the cutman. So this guy took two huge sponges and soaked in water, and uh, this thing started burning. And he went to the next round with the eyes burning. And the guy said, he said, I cannot see Walcott. And this this captain, I don't know his name, said, you don't have to see him. 
run away from him. So he could last another round and came back and another more water to his eyes. And then Andy, Andy, no, Andy, this catman could uh, wash away this substance. He started seeing again. You can say Marciano fought for three rounds in the dark. For three rounds. Not, yeah. not one, like three rounds. Is, and he, he stayed yeah. in. Uh, he didn't uh, get while out. made a scandal. He shouted, but uh, the referee came and said, Back to your corner. I saw something, someone rubbing something into uh, walk, walk. He didn't even see this. He was yeah. taking his breath. And some some guy, some say it was Bochicho, uh, the. Oh, the, from the manager, isn't it the manager? Yes, by the time, if not manager, uh, the second uh, in command. He was important in the team. This fight took place in Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia, because uh, he couldn't set his feet on New York and some other states, because uh, he, he was searching. Uh, the police yeah. would take him arrested. So he chose... Uh, one state where he was clean. So uh, this is the level of the people they had to deal with uh, back in that time, not nowadays. There is no excuses. His eyes were burning. He fought in the dark until his eyes got soaked with water lots of times and his tears helped uh, his sweat, helped uh, cleaning it out. Yeah. And he survived uh, this low, this low trick. And then we know the end. Hart, uh, he set an example uh, for whatever you want to do in life. When uh, it comes to heart, to taking whatever they have to throw at you, you got knocked down. Stand the fuck up. You are blind now. Light will come. I cannot but uh, be touched by things like this. His mother used to go to the church. She ne never, ever saw him fight. And she light one candle and pray with uh, another neighbors. The Italians are very Catholic. And that night in special, she lit 13 candles. And he won in the... And now we go round 13, the unlucky number. Maybe. Yeah, but uh, uh, what a <laughs> what a f finish. The, the the right hand, right? Whew. Yeah, one punch round. Can you believe that? Uh, Walker stood was asleep uh, yeah. seven seven minutes. Show some reaction. And he never woke up a man that big. Uh, in, in the beginning, uh, as Rocky tried to punch him, he would only with the, the so-called old 38 years old boxer, uh, easy fight, he would dodge, only rolling his shoulder, and Marciano would find nothing with his hands. The guy was the champion, champion of the world. And he knocked yeah, Marciano on the first. And then was so sad to see that man. Yeah, like he was dead or something. I, again, not a beautiful no. thing like he, he was trying to, it was like the beginning of the round and he, he heard Marciano in one of the rounds before, like really bad with the, with the body shot. And yep. Marciano was coming at him and he tried he tried yeah, to to throw the right hand but Marciano like punched in between and he never he never saw that I think yeah and it was an extremely hard uh, shot so yeah there was no way he would <laughs> you could probably give him an hour and it it would it's over there's no way and after that uh Roland like Starzo who whom, uh, Marciano won by uh, decision. The, the public, they, they boo, they didn't think Marciano won, but he knocked, it, he knocked Los Tarzan 
down. But he won. Uh, so he, after Marciano was champion, he asked for a rematch, uh, revenge. Marciano knocked him out. Marciano... It's, it's also like the match was done similar, like with the like similar situation with the Essa Charles bouts. Is also then he rematched him and yeah, the second fight knocked him out. Then. Yeah. So no doubt left. And then to finish, uh, Mongoose, the old Mongoose, dangerous fighter. I believe he has a record of round about 200 bouts. And he wanted to fight Marciano. He made a, um, what he could to publicize. You mean, if you think he, uh, this, this posters that he, that Archie made, like, yeah, if, yeah. if they wanted. All that is, around. That, yeah. is, that is funny. <laughs> He wanted yeah. to let people know I'm going to fight uh, this Italian guy. Bring bring it to the sheriff Archie Morans and to promote it. Yeah, yeah. So, he did his best to promote way. the fight. Yeah, and uh, we know how it ended. And then it was the six uh, defenses. Mm -hmm. He won all of them. The year was. 1955 no more contender this is when he finally got his vacation holidays why in brazil why uh, and he came all while uh didn't want him to come and in brazil he made up his mind he would retire from boxing he came back to us and said i'm quitting so Wyo said, you have a contract with me until more two years, 58. So he said, okay, but I'm not uh, boxing anymore. And then he called a press conference and he told for a um, whole day more to see. I would like to announce my retirement from boxing this time. Somebody asked uh, why. I made this promise to my family when I was in South America and I promised to retire before the month of May. And so he did. I would like to announce my retirement from boxing at this time.